What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that is a demo version. It's an alpha version, so there may be some bugs, but we're going to check it out because the deadliest catch the game. I want to thank Playway for sending me a key. I haven't seen this show in like a long time, bro, but I used to have a good time watching it with all the handsome brothers and Jonathan Hillsbrand. R.I.P. baby. But I used to watch the show all the time. Full of action, full of delicious, delicious crab and action. So, what do you say we hop on in? Alright, and here we are in Dutch Hab. With some skills. Some super duper skills to pay the bills. Let me see here. Bait haunch. What do we got here? More efficient baits. $5,000. How much money do we have? Oh, so we have 7500 bucks. Let's hold off on the skills. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, we got the shop. Buoy helps you know when to take the profits. I mean, how don't I already have all of these things? Do I? Okay, so we got two pots up here. Looks like we got some bait, it looks like. Some tonnage. What have you? Okay. Got some upgrades. Resistant hydraulic system, automation, improved hatch. Automatic opening of the hatch door into the hold. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I don't think we we're going to worry too much about the demo version, about getting everything we need to get. Gas station. Of course, the ships need gas. Ah, that's the fuel, my friends. Very good. Very good. And the tonnage, capacity, confirm, good stuff. And fines office. As you can see, you don't have any fines. Good. Good. Real good. Processing plant. This is where the magic happens. Crabs. Pricing per, per kilogram, 23, 23.78 per kilo, per kilo, lovely. Now when it comes to the crab vessel, what we got? Now, let's see what we have. We want to avoid rocky shores. So we got sandy, sandy, muddy. You want to try to avoid anything that's over 200 meters. But usually the fishermen like to do everything within 50 to 150 meters in that range, in that rough rough estimate, that guesstimate. And it looks like everything here is a little bit nice. Do you want to catch crabs here? I sure do. Of course, catching crabs, it's a different kind of meaning there. 16 hours away from Dutch Harbor, though. Ugh, two days, seven hours, 18 minutes. Hmm. Because right here is where Dutch Hab is. Maybe we should try to get something a little bit closer for our first pull. Seems like this is pretty fancy. Everything seems to be the same meters in the bottom right there. You can kind of see where I'm kind of looking at with the temperature. It's like super duper cold, dudes. But this seems to be kind of clutch. 67 meters, 142 meters along this stretch. Yes. Sure. Let's go. Right, so it looks like we got two pots. Awesome. We're gonna really, we really maximize our profits over here. And we're here to rock and roll. So, let's go ahead here. Ooh, because so we got a joystick. Use the crane. We got this jam here. Eat a raise. Move the table forward. Go forward. Move ahead. Try to detect it. It's not too late. So we also have our baiter. E to put the frozen bait inside. But first we have to check out what we have inside the fridge. So we got herring bait. Herring bait block. Before using a bait, frozen fish block uh, should be put into the bait chopper. Right, got that. Sardines bait. Sardines bait block. Hmm. So this stuff's already ready. This stuff's ready to rock and roll already. All right. Good, good. Good, good, good. Let's try the sardines. Sensitivity on this is super jam-packed. Ew! You're gross. So gross. All right, so now that our bait is all ready to rock and roll, here's where our buoys are. Ooh, buoy. And got our little winch crane. Let's see what we can do here. Ready, set. All right, camera. Let's get let's raise it here. Alrighty, right mouse button to lower. Nice, let me lift it up. Uh, 
and then place it on there using the spacebar. Okay, okay. Simple enough. Might as well get prepped for the next one. Good stuff. Now to exit the crane, let's hit the Q button. And what do we got to do? Let's go ahead, pop you E to open up the pot. Alright, we're the greenhorn now, baby. How do I... Oh. Okay. I gotta climb in the cage. How do I climb in the cage? We gotta crouch down. Is that was good? What's happening? Oh, oh, oh. It blinked. It blinked. Boom. Haha. -ha. Nice. Close that, John. Now we gotta get a buoy. Oh. Buoy. Bangerang, Rufio. Alright, so that looks like it's ready to lock and load, ready to go. Hit the controls. Send it! Send it! Oh. <laughs> Gotta push it all the way up. Ah, push it all the way up. Alright. Alright, R to lower. It seems weird where there's two different buttons. I should just be able to hit E and just do whatever I want to it, you know? That's, and that's my choice. All right, so now are we are we moving? Are we grooving? Do I have to move forward now? Feels like we should go forward now. Captain, Captain, hey Sig, Sig. All right, hold on, I'm Sig. Give me a second. All right, we're moving along now. Looking real nice. Bye, bye. I don't know, man. I got I got myself a good feeling about that one, man. All right, let's go ahead and load it up. You can hit shift to kind of speed things along. Let's go ahead and get the second crane loaded. Down we go. Space. Up. Up, got there. Up. Drop it down. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And space. Also, I just want to give everyone a heads up. If it sounds like I'm a little froggy or I'm a little stuffed up, it's because I was on the verge of death. I felt like pure trash for the past four days. But now everything's getting a little bit better, but I'm still feeling a little bit snatty. Ew, gross, gross, you're gross. Diesel, you're gross. Boom! I'm gonna take this bait. Can't put that there. Says you. Alright. Boost it in there. Get back. Let's close this gate. Nice. Buoy time. Yes, obviously I want to take a buoy. That's why I'm at the buoy bin. How far along are we there? Eh, let's give it a little bit of time there. Let's give it a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Alright, that looks like it's fair enough. Can I... Yes, I can. I can do it from here. Send it! Beautiful. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll, lock and loaded. So now, we have to let it soak. Usually a good soak... It's between 8 and 16 hours in game, not like in real life. Unless you want to make it uh, that, you can set up the timing for it to be hour by hour if you really want that deadliest catch king crab experience. Take this bucket over here, because we're going to need it for our sorting. Can I put this down? I'd like to put this down. Can I put this down? Please drop item. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So. Got 10 hours. Anybody have a deck of cards? I'll tell you what, I really do feel like Sig Hansen up in here, man. Got a kitty cab mug. All I need is like a carton of cigarettes. Everyone getting stressed out. I need I need 40 foot squalls. I'm not sure exactly uh, if that's going to be something we're, we're going to have to deal with inside of this particular game where it comes to the different kinds of weather conditions, snow, other competition. competition. I'm not sure. But I'm looking forward to it, man. So now we can speed up going forward, you know, WASD. We can speed it along here. Now I'm thinking maybe I, we should settle down, settle down. It is odd because everything's kind of reversed. I'm moving my mouse to the left. Of course, actually, that's a lie. I'm going left and I'm going right. It's just weird. Now we do have to turn our ship because we do have to pick these things up at starboard. It's just odd because I'm trying to look where I'm going using the mouse. And it's just not... I mean, I am steering a giant ship. And we should be A-OK. -okay. Let's put this jam in neutral. 
And if we hit T to rest and wait, how many hours should we wait? Well, I say we wait. Let's get a good soak in, man. 13 hours seems like it's a decent time. It's probably going to be nighttime, though. It is. It is nighttime. Oh, look at all the lights that are projecting. The oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. All right. Now, the indicators on the cages should be lit up for you. Green, if it's ready to lock and load, ready to go. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Pretty soon, we're going to have to send a hook. We're going to have to hook it, bro, and see what kind of pure king crab gold. Bearing straight gold we got. Now we should be right aside of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always wanted to do this in like real life, but never actually wanted to go up to Alaska to do it. So if we fling it. Oh, we're pulling it in. Oh, okay. This was the scariest part to me in the entire TV show was when they would take the cord and cable and they would just wrap it around and all of a sudden this thing would just go crazy, man. It would just go wild. The operator of the deckhand here would just go nuts on it. Now, what do we do to turn the coiler? There we go. And then this cable will coil everything up. Cage is over here. Uh, how do I hook it? I need to... Hook. Oh, look at all those king crab, baby. Woo! Bearing straight gold. We gotta set this right. We gotta set it up there. And then slide the table over. Sexy. Alright, so apparently I have to lower a winch hook. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I knew I was forgetting something. Boom. And then... Oh, just like that. Gotta got strong stronghold it. Okay. Now, can we dump these? Let's dump it out. No! No! Oh, no! Alright, so that's probably the reason why we don't do that ever again. What do you say? What do you say, kids? Uh, we just lost the whole pot. That's gone forever. The buoy is not attached. Good stuff. Good stuff, everybody. All right, you live and you learn. Let's uh, go and try to get the other one. Oh, wait, hold on. We got the crabs. We got the crabs, everybody. We got the crabs. Hold on. All right. Let's get to the sorting station. So now, to sort them, we select them, and we hit space to examine. All right, so when you flip a crab over, you can find out by uh, being a male or a female by, well, it's undercarriage, as of course, <laughs> of course, but the triangle here, this nice little triangle, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, crab, I'm, I don't mean to touch you, don't mean to, wh excuse me, excuse me, sir, where did, where, did the, where did the sad man touch you, crab? He touched me right here. No, this triangle means it's a male, but we need it over a certain length, otherwise it's no buenos. It's a no bueno, so take this. We discard you. These guys look like they're a little tiny, tiny. Let's flip it open. Flip it over. It's a female. Doesn't have the triangle, John. It's flat. So no buenos. Take that. Chuck that. Oh, oh, oh. We got one. We got one. We got one. Keep you. You look delicious. Boom. Getting all these males, baby. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, I don't, I'm not sure exactly the largest haul that you can take in. But if uh, this was a real life thing and this is all the crab that we have, we would all be, it's going to be a pretty bad time. We'd all be very sad because we're not going to get that much money. Somebody get some butter. That's a female. That's a no bueno. Let's just make sure that everything's good. Even though it's not good. Good length. Just the wrong gender. All right. Can I just put all these into the bin here? I sure can. And boom. All right, so we got 66 kilograms out of a possible 7,000. We're amazing. We're so amazing at this job right now. Of course, I did just dump an entire crate back into the ocean. Drop that item. All right, let's go ahead and put this back over here. And let's get our last crate. AKA the only crate that we have because I dumped it all down. 
Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Coil it up. Buttercup. All right. And we're hooking you on. Boom. Now, let's see if I can, I don't know, not hoist this up again. Let's go ahead and we'll reel this up. There we go. Now that's the ticket. Now let's grab the crane. And let's take our one and only pot. Let's shove it back over here, not in front of the door, because we need to get back here eventually. All right. And let's go ahead and move the sword. It's a lot of buttons, especially for one person. It would be kind of nice, definitely, to get uh, if you get enough levels to automate it. I can see that the top pot is about 150, and we only have 19 crabs in here. And that's kind of a bummer, but you know what? It's our first time, so gotta crawl before you walk, baby. Gotta crawl before you walk. That's a big one right there, bruh. Looking good. Ugh. And you are no buenos. Alrighty. Let's take you. Whoa, I'm looking up to the sky. Let's put you there. Dump you in. We got 123 kilograms out of 7,500. Now, of course, we do have to maximize our pots. Whoo! Whoa! Amazing. We have the strongest arm in the, in the history of the world. Let's go ahead and put that in there so no one falls in, aka me. All right, let's head on back to port. Let's see what this 123 kilograms is gonna get us. Back in the harbor. Let's go to the processing plant and see if we can process our 123.3 kilograms at 23.70. Boom. And we got $2,000. Hey, look at that. We're quick, we're easy. We're gonna need to get ourselves another pot. And we'll confirm it's four grand, ready to rock and roll, lock and load, good to go. Now the sorry bait, I'm not sure like which one's better. I see it more expensive. This is more expensive, but does it give us any kind of benefits or perks? I'm not quite sure. I'll get two of you. There we go. Confirm. So now we spent spends ourselves four grand. Skills. How many skills? Baits allure more crabs and keep it freshest for a longer time. I will purchase you. Now, how much gas do we have? We got plenty. We got plenty. Plenty enough? Very good. Now, I'm not sure if the uh, pricing goes up, uh, you know, during a certain time of the season. Either finds abandoned crab pot. Oh, no. Guess I got to pay my fines. I only got $832 to work with. We got enough gas, but we got a bunch of pots. And we should be all set up for another episode, but folks, that is going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single week. Peace out like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in the deadliest catch next time.